Digital Chaos Rudolph Q, and this is a first impressions of the Pixel 4a. I've been using it for well, about two days now. Um, I've tested it on a while, and I'm going to give you my first my impressions. Now, this was a 2020 released phone um, in, in August of 20, I should say, the 20th of August. Um, it has Android 13, uh, but currently it might get 14. It really depends how Google feels. Um, um, it is a pretty small phone being around 4.8 inches. I mean, it, once you get used to it, it's perfectly fine. But, like, if you're going from a bigger phone like my Nokia, um, it can be a bit of an adjustment, but the size is fine. Um, it has a nice OLED panel, which looks pretty good. Um, I mean, I paid a hundred, it'd be an average you can get it for around 140 for a very good condition phone. If you want to go, um, if you want to go a little, like, an open back, it's, like, 180 Um, it, do, it, unf um, it f has Gorilla Glass 3, which is, it's only 3, which, like, I don't know, because it's not, like, 3, it's, like, 5 is that expensive, but it doesn't stab, it doesn't really matter too much. It has a QHD, it has a QHD display, I believe. It has a 4K, I believe. I think it's 4K, but it might actually be a different, it's a weird resolution now. The only real issue I've discovered with the phone is how it's read for apps um i'll s show you in the b-roll unless i have the b-roll now because i'm still figuring the video out so i'm kind of sorry guys it's kind of being a bad video but you know i'm trying my best um it does unfortunately not does not have a card slot an uh, sd card slot which is really unfortunate but i don't think any pixels have and most of the pixels did not have since a while um the cpu was a sdm 730 or ks snapdragon 30g which is a mid-range cpu it does its job fine it can play games pretty well i think the bigger limiting factor is the gpu being a 618 which i think a 620 would have been better but even a 630 but it was released in 2020. It was not the easiest time of getting parts and all, so I do kind of understand it. It unfortunately does not have 5G, but the 5G model was released later, which I was originally going to get, but I just didn't have enough money at the time. Um, it does have eSIM support, which is really nice. Um, it has a really good camera, which, which I may or may not show you some photos of. The issue is a lot of photos of people in it, which I don't necessarily want to see online. It does have Bluetooth. It does have a lot of that. 5.0, I should say. It does have USB-C 3.1, which is a really nice thing. Um, and it comes in two colors, I believe, but it actually wouldn't know. I don't actually know. Um, now let's actually get into use cases of the phone. Um, so I'm done with this little GSM sec button. Let's get into the phone. Hey guys, Chaos Probe to you, and uh, this is my second segment of the video where you get to see my phone in action. I'm really sorry, guys, for the crappy audio quality but this is all I'm and video quality I mean I should say because this is all I can really record with. So if we click the fingerprint sensor is really good. And that's my suggestion is like if you can swipe up on the fingerprint sensor you can close it up and all but that's we're gonna be the actual phone. This I'm currently wanting the Q beta release of the phone. Unfo uh which is running fine. It's pretty good. Um, the screen is actually really good. You probably not gonna see the screen that well because I have a quite sick camera, but you never know. Um, it's pretty smooth. I mean, to people who use like a 90 hertz pan, that's probably gonna be not super smooth. But since the pixel has like the themed icons and all, which is really nice. Um, um, the benefit of 13 is you get like more themed icons, like Spotify is themed. Um. For a little gaming, uh, Gunfire Reborn runs pretty well. Probably not going to play much of it because it's going to have a pinned up cord at all and all. So, this is the... This is a bit of gameplay. It's not going to be good gameplay because, well... But this is just to set up the power of the system. I will probably also show Dead Cells off. The only issue is this game can take forever to load. I'm also really sorry that game kind of like... I will also set some pixels up too. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if I. S I may or may not have shown you already, but I don't know. 
it depends how I'm gonna mark the video, obviously, but you never know. The audio should be coming from my headphones and not my camera, which is nice and all. I'm probably using Ken Live because the last time I used anything else, I mean, I can't really see it. So I'm kind of tired. I want to see the point with a friend, so if we continue. This is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be a good um gameplay. So I can say the game one is fine. I mean, this is the best. This is medium settings. It probably went better on like high. It's about fifth, sixth, cap sixty. Um, I think I'm gonna stop recording this game because it's not easily comfortable for me to hold it. But let's get back into the actual device itself. Um, it is a basic apps like the messages app, which I can't really show you on my phone app because I don't want really to show much of my contacts, but it runs pretty well. Um, it does have a lot of pixel features, like the cool gestures and all. Once again, the screen's pretty good. Um, it is kind of small, so there is some getting used to. Um, but it does have a headphone jack, which I kind of forgot to mention off in GSM Arena, but it does, which is also pretty nice. Um, um, I don't know if I want to see my... Look at my distance, but, uh, the camera's really good, um, I think, uh, I'm gonna end this one for you guys, so, if you somewhat enjoyed this video and want to see a little bit more of my content, please like and subscribe, guys, have a wonderful day, guys, and goodbye.